Hello, it's Bini here. Today, I'd like to share a very quick tutorial on how to add indicators onto your trading view chart. All right, take a look at you know the trading view. You have the top um, row here, and then you have another row that's to the left, and the other row to the right. Now, what we need when we want to add indicator is the row on the top. Right, where you can see this indicators uh, word being written here or you know there's a chart with a zigzag here all right so click on that and um, once you click on it uh, another screen will pop up and this is the place where I like to share with you how to add indicators and how to add this um, auto detect of candlestick patterns okay so the first indicators I like to add is for example I can add in the Bollinger Band all right so I can just key in ball all right, which which is like um, the first four letter for Bollinger. So once I click on ball, I'll be able to see a lot of um, different things that's involving Bollinger, like Bollinger Band strategy, Bollinger Bands, or even community scripts where they have Bollinger plus RSI, etc. But I like to just add in the Bollinger indicator. All right, so here we have the Bollinger indicator, and if you want to use it often, you might just want to favorite it so that it can be added to your favorite, which is up here on the top of this uh, uh, row here. All right, so I'm just going to add in Bollinger. So once you have added, you realize that on your chart it appears this Bollinger here. Okay, so we've done the first one, and the second um, indicators that I like to add would be on MACD. Okay, which is uh, which which is going to appear at the uh, lower panel all right so i'm just going to add in the macd moving average convergence divergence you realize that i have, have, have that favorite once i have it favorite it'll appear with this star here and once you go into favorite you'll be able to find the macd here as well okay so just go back into here and i'm just going to add in this moving average convergence divergence all right and that's macd Okay, you realize that after I've added something appears to the bottom here. That's great. We're going to have all this, right? But lastly, I also want to add in an auto detection where I can automatically detect some candlestick kind of pattern. All right, so go into this technical tab here. So technical tab again, and then look to the left. You're going to find this candlestick kind of pattern here. All right, so click on that, and then you will automatically popped to this particular screen and where it says that you can add in individual candlesticks or you can just add in all the candlestick patterns okay i'm just going to add all the candlestick patterns here all right and you realize that something pop up and i'll be able to see all the different candlesticks here all right so once i've added i need to configure that okay so to do the configuration you have to look to the left you know that five or four or three depending on how many indicators that you have added all right below the price quote okay so i've added all together five indicators into my panel so i have the bollinger band which i've just added in all right and then this uh would be the candlestick patterns and then here would be the macd all right so i i let's say if i do one and i want to hide anything right so go to the one that shows the eye and i click on it you're gonna hide your bollinger band if you want to show it again make it appear then you can click on it and you're able to um you know make it appear now next would be this place here where where it shows setting so this is the word place that you can just go and change your setting all right at pray, uh, click on it and you can just you know choose the setting that you want to have all right so i'm just going to leave it as default without any changes okay lastly all right and uh, we're going to just configure the all patterns this would be the candlestick patterns all right so same thing if you want it to show or uh, not show all right then you can just press on this i button all right once it's crossed out that means that you won't be showing any candlestick pattern automatically if it's not being crossed out then we'll be able to display the candlestick pattern all right same thing under setting here i'm just going to click on it and you can configure whether you want to detect the candlestick pattern based on the simple moving average 50 meaning that anything that meets the simple moving average 50 you will automatically show it all right and if i don't want and then you know i'm just going to get a lot more different candlesticks all right however if i want to just um you know filter it with sma 50 and sma 200 then i'm just going to get a lesser number of uh, indications all right so of course you can 
choose whether you want it to be a bullish pattern or you want it to be a bearish pattern or both and you can indicate what are the patterns that you want to have okay let's say for example i just want to have the more common pattern so not abundant baby i want to have dodgy i want to have engulfing i want to have hammer and then i want to have a shooting star here we go and then i want to have a harami okay so shooting star harami hammer and then we have engulfing and dodgy once this is true i'm just going to make sure that you just screen for uh, 50 moving average and once you click ok you realize that uh, i have a slightly more pattern all right but then all these are all the patterns that i want to have so d will be dodgy just click on that and b here will be a harami and the other one would be an engulfing here okay so i've done all the candlestick pattern here and um, let's say I want to make changes to my MACD so I can just make changes to a MACD using the same method which is in this panel here all right now what if I want to prevent any changes to my indications okay meaning I, I you know I finished modifying everything and I don't want to touch anything of it so what can we do all right just just click on this small little uh, arrow here all right which is to hide the indicator legend and click on that and then yes it's clean up is less cluttered and you don't you won't accidentally modify any of these indicators all right um and that's it clean and nice okay so that's how we uh, can add the indicators inside your trading view and if you like this tutorial or you like more other tutorials do let me know and i'm just gonna make you more but please help me to subscribe and if i launch any new video you can notify yourself by sub subscribing and clicking that little bell button